flow class, we will be discussing about the slope. Here, the limit of the ratio delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 0 and dy over dx y prime and f prime a, f prime x or f of x prime is derivative of y with respect to x this also means the slope now here is the proof why it is also the slope we have there the linear equation y equals mx plus b we uh, add delta y for y and uh, delta x for x so we arrive at this equation then we put y on the right side of the equation then substitute y with mx plus b then there you have it we have here um, cancel this portion here negative b and positive b so what's left is delta y equals m delta x where m is the slope and it is equal to delta y over delta x so that's why the, the ratio delta y over delta x is also the slope so sorry for my voice, may do na mamala. Okay, from your uh, notes, we, uh, we have there the sample problems 1 and 2. The instruction for there is, find the slope of the curve at the given point. So we will be using for the meantime the three step rule. So the first equation is y equals 2 minus x squared at 3 negative 7. So we have there y plus delta y equals 2 minus parenthesis x plus delta x squared then we will expand it we have y plus delta y equals 2 minus x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared then Distribute the negative sign. Again, we will leave delta y in the left side of the equation. So um, we have there 2 minus x squared minus 2x delta x minus delta x squared then we have there minus y so again what is y that is two minus x squared So we can cancel out 2, negative 2, negative x squared, positive x squared. So what's left is negative 2x delta x minus delta x squared. So here we can see they both have delta x. This is positive. Oh, sorry. Negative. Delta x. 
Then the ratio delta y over delta x equals negative 2x negative delta x. We have the limit delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0 equals negative 2x minus 0 that is equal to negative 2x. <clears throat> now we're looking for the slope at 3 negative 7. So 3 here is x. So substitute the value of x with the uh, answer which is negative 2x. So negative 2 times 3 is equal to negative 6. So that is the slope. Okay. So after arriving at the answer of negative 2x, we just substituted the value for x because only x is present here and so negative 2 times 3 becomes x. Now if y is present in this answer, you will also substitute the value of y. Okay. For number 2, We have y equals x over x squared plus 4 at 2, 1, 4. So again, we will uh, add delta y for y and delta x for x. Plus 4. So, substitute for y. We give an equation. We have x over x squared plus 4 is delta y. So, to, uh, the next step is to leave delta y in the left side, then transpose x over x squared plus 4. So, we can now expand this x plus delta x squared here. We have the x squared, 2x delta x, delta x squared, x4. Now to remove the denominator, we will multiply here the um, the x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 4. Same is true with the right side of the uh, left side of the equation. Okay. 
So what happens here is, if we substitute this, or if we multiply this, the first term, this denominator here is similar with the numerator, so we can cancel it out. So what's left will be x squared plus 4. Minus x times. Also, we multiply this in the second term. The denominator x squared plus 4 and the numerator x squared plus 4 is similar, so we can cancel it out. So what's left is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 4. Okay. Distribute or expand. Then, we can cancel out x cubed and negative x cubed, 4x and negative 4x. We can uh, uh, have left here is, so let's rewrite this part here. I just left it a while ago. So what's left with the equation on the right side will be x squared delta x minus 2x squared delta x minus x delta x squared. Oh, also plus 4 delta x. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four. Delta y is now equal to. So this one here is similar. This two here, fancy. Similar. So this becomes negative x squared delta x. Then, since all of them have delta x, we have there. 
so some these shortcut limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0 is equal to negative x squared minus x 0 plus 4 So that is the answer. Four plus four is eight sixty-four. So the answer here is zero. Okay, <clears throat> so that's all for slope. You just have to execute the three-step rule. Then, when arriving to the answer using the three-step rule, you just substitute the value given in the coordinates. Right, so that's all for slope. So stay tuned.